Well, good afternoon, First Prez. It's Daniel coming in with today's edition of The Daily Dose, all the way from Firestone. This afternoon, I wanted to just share a few simple thoughts with you uh, as it relates to this unique and strange time we're living in. Uh, like yourself, I've been trying to figure out how to deal with this whole uh, coronavirus craze. And I have a few things I just wanna offer to you today. But first, I need to have a quick confession. I actually really hate camera work. And here's why. One time I was filming a leadership development class and the cameraman just started snickering while I was in the middle of my teaching. And he's laughing and it's so off-putting. I thought maybe I have something in my teeth, maybe my fly's open, I don't know what's going on. And so I finally say, cut, cut. And he explains to me that while he's filming, he's picturing a little white rabbit sitting on my head. And now every time I film, I'm worried that someone out there might be picturing a little white rabbit sitting on my head. So what I need to do is just to plainly, clearly ask you, would you not picture a little white rabbit sitting on my head during the course of this video? Because if you're picturing a white rabbit sitting on my head, you might miss something of value that I have to say. So if that's you and right now you're picturing a white rabbit, please take it off, throw it away and just focus. Now, of course, this little illustration is made up, but it really serves to make a point. Whatever we focus on will consume us. And as I mentioned white rabbit over and over and over again, you can't help but to picture a white rabbit sitting on my head. Even if you're educated, even if you have a doctorate, you still can't follow simple instructions because of the power of suggestion. And so I wanna encourage us to think about what we're thinking about during this coronavirus craze. I read in my devotional this week something by Bob Goff when he said, if our heads are full and our hearts are empty, we'll tip over. So I think it's great to be informed. It's important that we watch the news, but let's not only fill our mind with the news, let's also fill our hearts with his presence. Because we wanna focus on not just information, but transformation. So during this time, let me encourage you, press in to Christ, deepen your relationship with him, spend extra time with him, get in the word, pray, uh, sing, uh, write a gratitude journal. Just think about what are some things you can do to make the most of this opportunity we're in. And I believe that through all this, God might use these unique circumstances to help us grow in a new way. One of the ways I wanna invite you to uh, grow with us is to join us tomorrow for Church Online. I look forward to seeing you there. Hope you have a great evening. Peace out, First Press.